All right, happy work day, YouTubers. Uh, it's cold outside today, so it's good to put a little work into that uh, hole in the water into which we throw money. Uh, today I'm going to be working on a Fulton F2 jack. I've got a 2014 trailer under my boat that has, uh, I guess it's eight years old now, and those nice, smooth action um, jacks that are so nice to have become sluggish, grindy, um, even chattery, not wanting to come up and down. So we'll get into this Fulton F2 and take a look at it. You can either pull these right off the trailer if you want to. I'm just going to work on it right on the trailer. I'm going to take the weight off of the tongue, which is probably the first most important thing you need to do. If you try to work on this thing while it's loaded, which you could do, you're just going to push the guts right out the top and you're going to have a mess. So, um, First thing we gotta do is drop it down, take the load off, and then I'm, I'm gonna do the lazy man's way and not even put it on the bench here. Uh, I've already ordered the kit that I need, uh, but I was still fishing, so I put it back together and ran it. So, um, show you what we got. Okay, here's the tools I'm gonna be using today. Um, I got a pair of gloves, a hammer, a needle nose pliers, a center punch, which really isn't a center punch, but I'm gonna use it as one some axle grease and this is my nice cheater a flexible uh, flexible uh, adapter for the power with that T I believe it's a T25 everything you're going to do today is going to be torques the same bit so you only need one bit and of course a bearing kit from uh, I forget where I got this from and I'm old not sure how to make things work but I will try to tell you the link in the description if you want to scan the barcode there you go point at the screen scan the barcode I might find it Okay, so I apologize for the, my camera throughout this thing because I, I forgot my tripod. So I'm going to be showing you things and then executing them. I can the, the GoPro will work for watching the execution, but the sound will probably be gone. So, so what we got here is inside this level, we have two gears. One on the right, one underneath it all. And there's a keeper pin located right there. It has to be knocked out from one side with a center punch and then you can pull it out with your pliers. Now we got four more Torx screws, same same uh, number, T, whatever it was, 25, down in there, going to take the center section off, just like the top cap. Now this is where the problem and this one lies. There's a big washer and this is your bearing or I should say in this case or what's left of it. When I opened this up the first time uh, I had ball bearings falling everywhere and then there's your smaller washer. I'm sorry two more washers there. So oh no, that's not even a washer that's the bottom of your bearing setup. That, that piece right there is the bottom of your bearing setup. So, yeah, you literally have two washers and your bearing setup, and then this runs threaded down in the bottom. I'm going to grease those threads up and turn that a few times before I put this back together.
because I hate it when those chefs make a really cool meal and don't actually eat it on camera. We'll crank this up. And it runs like gravy, baby. Like gravy.